Hello and welcome to this episode of Project B. Uh, the WX hasn't sold just yet, but the auctions are still pumping and there's quite a few cars that we wanted to look at, so we're going to split it into a two-part series. So uh, join us as we go and uh, have a look at the best that Australian auctions can offer. Punched a tow bar. It's pretty good. We'll do a walk around. Is is this radar cruise control? The car's so old though that so you got some marks. Oh shit, Morgan, that is bees. What the fuck? So we just survived a swarm of bees. I'm surprised we didn't get stung. Holy shit! That's like something in the movies. Already we're getting attacked. I like it. Ooh, it opens. Oh, it's nice. It's <sighs> Whoa. All right, where does the key go? Or do you just start it? I love it already. This is so cool. It's, it's got radar guided cruise control, I was right. Shit. All right, let's get, uh, how do we, I agree. Um, how do we okay it? Oh, it's, kind of, ooh, it's got dual zone climate control, I think. Yeah, dual zone climate control. Ow. This is so cool. Uh, all right, let's stop getting carried away. Um, everything seems very nice on the interior. Oh, okay, so that's how that works. Everything's very nice. Oh my God, we have got heated and cooled seats. Let's, oh, that's hot. We want cold. What's, can you feel that, Morgan? I don't know how long it takes to work, but. We've got memory settings. Folding mirrors? Oh my god, it's got a secret menu. Holy crap, I'll take the camera so you can get a look at this. So, I was just fiddling around. You push this bad boy, and you've got a whole, another little thing. I'll get, we'll open the door so we can fold the mirrors. That works. All right, uh, we've got, oh no way. It's got shades. Huh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, what do we got? Those are awesome. The cooled seats, I don't know if it's working because this is Australia, so it's really fucking hot. I should probably stop swearing, but I love this car so much already. All right, display. Oh, your door apparently is not shut, Morgan. Everything's there, no. Okay, so that's that. Oh, the Lexus badge. Is that being coloured in with a Sharpie? I don't know. I think so. It has. Someone has coloured in their chrome Lexus badge with a, a Sharpie. Who would do that? You're an idiot. Whoever you are, you're a stupid. You don't deserve the lap of luxury. Oh man, the seats. Are you comfortable, Morgan? This is ridiculous. Oh, oh I bet you it's got, it does, electronically adjusted steering wheel. Cause you can't, you don't want to be pleb. You don't want to have to pull shit. You just want to just touch it and have it come out to you. Oh, I think you can uh, just, I think we need to put this all the way down. Yep, yep, that's good. And we just slide it all the way back. 
Yep, this is the car. And I'm gonna leave it like this, so if anyone else looks at the car, they think, who the hell owned it? That turns that up. Down, okay. Open. We got, a, we got a sunroof that works. How do we accept? Okay, how do we turn the, ah, oh, here we go, fan. We want, don't want to remove it. Is it meant to be touchscreen? It's had something mounted on the dash. It needs a bit of a clean, but. Sounds open on me. Just like feel the leather. I think it's meant to be touchscreen, but it's not. The touchscreen doesn't work. Because, yeah, look at that. You've got we go display. How do you meant to change? So, all right, so touchscreen. Yeah, we should probably pop the bonnet. We spent too long on this car already, but. Oh, that's right. We just have to press the button here. Where is it? Okay, never mind. We don't have to do that. Oh, there we go. Oh, it purrs. The hood doesn't really stay up. And there it goes. <laughs> Uh, so we had a little bit of a coolant overflow. But apart from that, the car is solid. It's just a bit dirty and the screen doesn't work. What do you think, Morgan? Bye. I love it. I want it. Oh, it's so cool. Got some little dings and scrapes and... The car we're looking at now is the Mercedes C1500. CL. Okay. Oh. CL500. CL500. <laughs> um, doesn't look too bad. It's got really nice paint, actually. Nice fleck in it. Um, some nice wheels. You can tell it's like off-road spec. Um, oh yeah, the window doesn't actually fit in the, what do you call it, the seal. Um, something's happened to the, the wind mirror, you can't even look out of it. Yeah, it's got uh, pretty much no tread on the tyres, which can be quite costly. Um, it's got a little bit of gutter gash, but nothing too bad. Um, it almost looks like it's had actually a bit of damage. It's hit something, you can see it doesn't line up quite right. These aren't sitting in properly. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but just a little light touch there. Something's happened to the logo. I've never seen that before. Wouldn't you just put it back on then? It is an oddly shaped car though. Like, I don't know, it looks like it's almost meant to be a convertible, but it's not. Other than that though, it looks pretty clean, to be honest. Not too bad. Yeah, it's retro. So the keys don't work. Well, this feels like a couch. This actually feels really good. So it's... It is missing a couple trim pieces, it looks like. There's a bit here that's missing, which... I'm guessing maybe is for this. Um, oh, that might be the trim pieces. Oh. A mirror, yeah. Something else. Looks all right, had a lot of use, look at that. That's grot. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but just the coat over the screen is severely like, it's all oily and scratched up and looks pretty jank. Start her up. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen as a key. What the hell? I have to break it. Wait a sec, just try unlocking the door. Doesn't unlock. Dead battery. battery. So it looks like you might not be able to start it. Uh, would have been good if it could have started, but you know, most of the cars with auctions don't actually start, so that 
that's all right. Um, everything else though looks all right. Like I really like, even though we haven't seen the dash light up yet, it looks like it would look pretty cool if when it turned on. Um, I think straight away we can't even start it. Dead battery. Um, you know, I don't think it's worth the risk. So yeah, I think we move on to the next car then. Alright, so we're on our way to our next car which is a Holden Commodore, an Australian staple. Uh, now the lovely female at the reception there um, handed me the keys. Now one's held together by sticky tape and it doesn't look like a Holden key. We've got a random key which looks nothing like the car key and then we've got a third key which looks like it needs some sticky tape to hold it together because this thing is just about to break out oh, and all the buttons are gone. So uh, let's see if this car is as shitty as its keys. Okay. Uh, so our culprit is up here. Okay, so off the bat, looks like it's been scratched a few times. Wow. Have you ever seen a stone chip guard crack? That's a, that's a decent stone. <laughs> Aside the glaringly obvious it's purple, the car doesn't look too great. Now the only problem is, is with the keys is I don't know which button to... Alright, so those buttons don't even work. None of those buttons work, so I guess it's the old... Oh, I hope the key doesn't snap. Nope, that doesn't turn it. Okay. Try that one. Nope, that one doesn't turn it. Try this one. And that one doesn't turn it. Oh, it is unlocked, lol. Okay, so right off the bat, this is too shit for a dealer to sell. Key number one. Well, let's start. Oh, well, we want the handbrake on. Nope, that key doesn't work. Key number two. Nope. Oh. All right. Yeah, and it seems stumbly. Um. Oh, my seats falling apart. This is great. But it's a V8, so. Oh, that sounds horrible. All right, let's see what's going under the hood. All right, let's have that off. So it's got some squeaky belts. Actually, I think it's this one up here. The actual pulley itself is rattling. The camera probably won't be able to pick it up, but every now and then, there's just a bit of smoke, an oily looking smoke coming up from down in there. So I'm thinking, yep, we've got oil leaking onto the valves, which is cooking. Uh, which in and of itself is just probably a valve cover gasket, but I mean the car sounds like shit. Besides it being a V8, it does sound like crap. No way. One of these days we're gonna get a V8, but it is not this day. For this day, we avoid the piece of shit. God, that sounds so bad. But something I have spotted. Come with me. First of all, when you're at the auctions, space is a priority. They can't afford an inch. Second of all, there's a Porsche 911 over there, so we're gonna have a look at it. Oh, Jesus. God, I miss my Porsche. So this is a 996 C2. So it's, it is just a base model. 
Um, its interior isn't too bad. Ooh, the window module still works. Now this is a common problem on them, is that they don't normally pop down. Now the one on the other side, I don't know about that because the window is just stuck halfway down. All right, it's auto, yuck. It's, I believe, a 3.2 or 3.4, which is, it's pretty slow, really. But it's cool, nonetheless. I love the house carpet transmission tunnels, even though the transmission's at the back, but yeah, not what we're here for today. So we finished looking at all of the turdy and some not so turdy cars at the auctions. Um, the Lexus, really promising. I like the look of it. Um, I'm a fan of how comfy that thing is and would love to take it for a drive. Uh, unfortunately, obviously at the auctions, we're unable to do so. Um, but comment below what car you think we should be chasing after. Um, it is all dependent as well on price. Obviously, we've got to work in with the budget from the WRX. Um, but if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Again, comment below what you want to see us go for and flip. Uh, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It helps out so much. And we'll see you in part two of our Lemon to Lambo auction hunting series. Yeah, oh man, that smells like vomit. Don't inhale that, it tastes like shit.